Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two lines uh, A, B and uh, C, D that intersect each other at this point uh, P. And as a result, we are ended up with two yellow shaded uh, triangles as you can see in this given diagram. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, DAP is uh, 2A minus uh, 17. This angle uh, ADP is uh, A plus 5. The angle PCB is A plus 17. And finally, this angle CBP is A. And furthermore, this angle BPD is X. And now our task is to find the value of this angle X. And we have been given four options for X value. X could be 67 degrees, X could be 70 degrees, X could be 75 degrees, and finally, X could be 65 degrees. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we could calculate the value of uh, X, we must uh, solve for uh, lowercase a value first. So therefore, let's recall the exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles, as you can see in this given triangle. And here we can see this is our exterior angle, whereas uh, this A and B are uh, our two opposite interior angles such that uh, the angle C is going to be equal to angle A plus angle B. And we are going to apply this concept on both of these uh, triangles. Let's focus on this uh, triangle APD. For this triangle, this angle is our exterior angle, whereas uh, these uh, two angles are our opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, our this uh, exterior angle X uh, is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles, uh, 2A minus 17, and plus the other angle is uh, A plus uh, 5. And now we are going to combine these like terms on the right hand side. So therefore, uh, our X uh, value is going to be equal to 3a minus 12 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1 and now we are going to focus on other uh, triangle BPC and we can see for this uh, triangle BPC this angle X is uh, our exterior angle whereas uh, these two angles this angle and this angle are going to be our opposite interior angles so therefore, we can write that this uh, exterior angle X uh, is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles, uh, A plus 17. Let me write down A plus uh, 17 plus uh, this other angle uh, A as well over here. And now we are going to combine these uh, like terms. So therefore, our angle uh, X turns out to be equal to 2a plus uh, 17 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. So therefore we are ended up with the system of these uh, two equations equation 1 and equation 2 and now we are going to compare these uh, two equations and we can see the left hand sides of both of these equations are identical so therefore we can equate the right hand sides of this these two equations as well. So therefore I can write uh, 3a minus uh, 12 is going to be equal to 2a plus uh, 17. And now I am going to move this 2a in the left hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this negative 12 in the opposite direction. So therefore we can write uh, 3a minus uh, 2a is going to be equal to 17 plus 12 and we can see over here 3a minus 2a is going to give us simply a equals to 17 plus 12 is going to give us 
29 degrees. So thus our lower case A value turns out to be 29 degrees. And if I substitute this uh, A equals to 29 value in all uh, these uh, expressions uh, for these uh, interior angles. So therefore our this angle turns out to be 41 degrees. This angle is 34 degrees. This angle is 46 degrees. And finally this uh, interior angle is uh, 29 degrees. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the value of this uh, angle X. So therefore we are going to substitute this uh, A equals to 29 degrees value in this uh, equation 1. And here's our equation 1 and now we are going to substitute this uh, lowercase a value as uh, 29 degrees over here. So therefore we can write uh, x equal to 3 times uh, 29 minus uh, 12. And if we simplify furthermore, uh, 3 times 29 is going to give us uh, 87 minus 12. So therefore our x value turns out to be 75 degrees. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 75 degrees. So therefore our correct option is C and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.